Hey everyone, it's Willow. This week, me and Caden went to the Valley View Mall and we're gonna check out some of the stores and show you some of our favorite stores. So let's go. The Valley View Mall is a small mall with two anchor stores, Barnes and Nobles being the one which we came in. They had Torrid, which is where I got my shoes. Shout out to Torrid. They also had this cute store called Popcon, which had everything pop culture. Walking in, they had a ton of Disney stuff on display, which was really funny to see being so far away from Florida. Caden even found this cute Charmeleon onesie, but it was like $60 to $70, so we put it back. If you collect plushies, Popcon has several shelves full. There was also a large variety of cartoon character backpacks, and me and Caden fell in love with this Avatar Last Airbender one. The back of the store was the apparel section where they had socks, t-shirts, pajamas, everything you can imagine with your favorite movies, comic book characters, all sorts of things, including comic books. They actually had comic books in the back as well. This store has such a large variety of products from home goods to tabletop games if you're into that. They even had snacks from around the world and if you want to see me try some of these snacks, hit the subscribe button because I definitely would like to taste test some of these crazy flavors. And if you're looking for something to wash it down with, they have an entire wall full of craft sodas that you can choose from. They also have just about every Funko Pop you could ever imagine. Oh my god, I've never seen so many Funko Pops in my lifetime. Definitely stop at PopCon next time you're at the Valley View Mall. Next, we ventured into the mall and headed into one of Caden's staples, GameStop. It was a very small GameStop location, but they had this cool Power Rangers helmet. After GameStop, we walked on over to the food court, which was completely dead. In fact, there was only two vendors open. Onward through the mall, there was a bunch of inline stores. Half of them appeared closed. One of the closed ones, though, had this really cute alpaca in the window, and I had to show you guys this. Check this out. Look. Alpaca. This mall had all the classic staples like Spencer's, Bath and Body Works, Ulta. The only thing it was missing was a Hot Topic. They didn't have one of those. They had a store called Scrubs too. We wandered into a store called Hemp Plus which sells everything from CBD to Delta 8. They had beautiful glasswork in and on the shelves as well as vape cartridges, edibles, and flour. We also made friends with the employee working there named Marcus. Shout out to Marcus who hooked us up with some edible samples of Delta 8. They even had cookies. After chatting with Marcus for a bit, we grab some goodies for the road and head home. Have you gotten yourself anything for Valentine's Day yet? Show yourself some love and decorate your walls with cool art. Where you might ask? See Trokey Art on Etsy! There's robots, stoner food, bees, bees, bees. we're on a plus bi color. This thing that haunts my nightmares, magical creatures. There's stickers, canvases, and prints in multiple sizes. There's something for everyone. And if you do get something, tell Caden Willow sent you. That's all for this week. Next week, we'll be celebrating Caden's birthday. I'll see you then.